Hey everybody, it's Mergo, and today in this one, we will be covering the things that have finally opened up in Battle for Azeroth. Um, much of the content was gated until the 4th, which is today, and uh, all that is now available. So, first up on the list, Warfronts. Warfronts are now available, and you can begin contributing to the Warfronts if you're a Horde player. It will make you in control of Stromgarde here in a couple days. You do that over here in Zul'Dazar, right, your little base. For the Alliance, we're already in control of Stromgarde. So Alliance players can come up here and they can fight the Doomhowl boss. So Doomhowl has decent loot. You can see he drops 370 item level stuff. Pretty good. Very nice. Easy to pick up. Not a hard boss. It'll probably be killed constantly all day. Like, repeatedly. It's been getting attacked since I got here, pretty much. This is the longest he's been staying in there. So be able to get the kill pretty easily. Um, it also opened up access to many rares. There's actually five different rare mounts you can farm here in Arathi Highlands. So I'm gonna go check those out real quick. The first rare is Beast Rider, comma, located over here in Eastern Arathi. Um, all these mounts are rare drops, so he has a chance to drop the White Albino Raptor, which he's currently riding on. Let's see if we manage to pick it up on our first ever kill of this NPC. And here we go. No. Let's move to the next one. Next we got Skull Ripper here. Drops a mount that looks just like himself. He is located right east of Debris, a farmstead. So, are we going to be lucky with this one? Be nice to get one on our, our first attempt of all of these. Nope. Next one. Okay, so this mount works a little different. It's the Highland Mustang. Now for the Alliance, it drops off of Doom Rider Helgrim, which appears to be here at Goshek Farm. But if you're a Horde player, I think when the Horde are in control of Stromgard, uh, there will be a different NPC by the name of Night Captain Aldrin over here at Debris Farm. Not currently located there, so I'm guessing it's when the Horde are in control of Stromgard that he's actually going to be there. And he would be located right here. You'd be able to pick up a different one. The Horde version has a Horde flag, obviously. So, there you go. Another NPC here. This NPC is Overseer Crix. He drops the little donkey. But he's located in two different locations for the Alliance. You're going to go into the mine next to Argorok. Got to go just inside of it. Or place a little different. For a Horde player, the mine you would have to enter for the Lil Donkey Mount is located over here, just east of Stromgard Keep. And the last rare is Nimmar the Slayer, which is located, again, in East Red Highlands. Kill these in any order you choose. Best of luck for your drop rates. Nimmar here, he drops the Wither Bark and Dire Wing. Again, all of these are very rare, so it may take you a little bit. But let's move on to some other features that have opened up. Another piece of content that has opened up our first world boss, Warbringer Yanagz. Yanagz, I don't know. Anyways, it's located right here in Storsong Valley. Go up here. Sure, there's going to be a constant slew of people. As you can see, a lot of corpses, so it's going so swimmingly. Um, but it drops 355 item level gear. Away, Pretty decent. Girl. Get you right into that next piece of content. And now, really, the biggest piece of content this week is opened up. Ooh, dear. The raid is now available on normal and heroic difficulty. Next week, we'll get mythic difficulty, as well as the first raid finder difficulty. But, on top of that, we also have mythic plus honestly my favorite piece of content when it comes to doing things. I love Mythic Plus because five mans, a lot easier to get five people together. Um, I think it's fun because it's it's time based so it's like trying to get it through it as quickly as possible. It's a lot of enjoyment to me. There's also a bug that if you did a Mythic Plus on the last week of Legion, today you were able to claim a Mythic Plus cache which <laughs> held a lot of really good gear. I wouldn't keep your hopes up because I highly doubt you'll be allowed to keep that. They're either going to greatly reduce the stats that that gear gives they're gonna either give 
everybody in the game a Mythic Plus cash to compensate for the fact that some people are vastly ahead of others, or they're just going to flat out remove it. It's hard to say which route they're going to take at this point in time, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you have that gear, I would expect for it to go away. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck with whatever content you decide to throw yourself at this week. All the good stuff is finally available, so it'll be nice to see how it all goes. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.